Dave, can you can you just hold this crowbar right? I got it right here. I got it. All right, I got it. Lift can me I, up here. Can I wind it? Wait, can I wind it? Whoa. Oh, all right. I think. Yeah, yeah. I think we're in. You're good. We're. Yeah, here. Fo- just follow me up. Where are we going? Well, one of our readers sent me the coordinates. Um, well, it, it's the coordinates for his secret asteroid starship hangar. Wait a minute. Uh, Did you say secret asteroid starship hangar? Uh, yeah, dude. This is where he keeps all his high-end star citizen ships. <laughs> okay. Um, so I got the coordinates, but I, I left my keys back at my apartment. Oh, no. Um, so we gotta go, we gotta go grab his spare set and maybe we can go take a look around some of the, uh, some of the nice ships he's bought here. That sounds good. And I think his office is up here. Where it's over, could be here. Well, that looks like the this shop. Oh, hey, there we go. There's some lockers. Let's check these out. Can you maybe look behind the, the sofa there and see if there's anything like in the cushions? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my uh, crowbar to lift up all of the cushions. All right, cool. Oh, jeez. I think this beer is skunked, dude. Uh, all right, it's not in here. Do you need Please. any toilet paper? Uh, always. All right. <laughs> you think, you think I'll grab that. <laughs> what? Mm. Yeah, it just looks like some old movie props in here. Maybe there's something down under this old Commodore. Hang on a second. Yep. No, I got him. I found him. The keys to the hangar to the starships. Let's do it, man. So you know how Star Citizen works, right? Right now, it's in this early access state where for like 40, 50 bucks, you can buy a pass and it gets you a basic ship and access to you know, what's called the arena commander module where you can go fly around and do a little dog fighting and multiplayer, right? Right. Well, there's also other ships that you can buy um, and, and they're not cheap. So I'm, I'm not going to name this particular star citizen backer because he, he asked for privacy, but the hangar that we're taking a look at, he told me that the value of the ships in here mm-hmm. is somewhere north of four figures. I'm sorry, what? Uh, there's there's a lot of ships in here. There's like there's thousands of dollars wow. of ships in here. So this one that we're looking at right here, this is called the Gladius. You can still buy this interceptor. It's got your standard wing mount laser cannons. There's maybe eight anti ship missiles, mm-hmm. but there's also this little button if you push right here. Okay. Right behind the chin mounted Gatling gun that drops the ladder, and you can actually get in. Oh, that looks like a starship. Isn't this awesome? Yeah. So I can't actually fly this ship in the game yet. I can't take it into the multiplayer setting and, and dogfight or anything. Mm-hmm. But I can, like, get in and out of it. Uh, that's, that's you know, that'll be okay for now. That's kind of awesome. All right, so we're just going to hop out. This next one up the line here, though, this one's really special. Um, this one's actually done in partnership, it looks like, with AMD. It's a variant of the Mustang, and you can actually get a Mustang for, or for like 40 or 50 bucks. Um, this Mustang Omega, limited edition, <laughs> special paint job. I saw it's, AMD up front. You can't buy this thing anymore, so they're selling them on eBay for like $100. Of course, of course, of course. This one you can fly in the Arena Commander, uh, but it's super fast. You, you tend to, to kind of red out. You know, all the blood rushes to your head when you're pulling all the maneuvers <laughs> and it's not real well armed so it hasn't been a favorite of mine but um let, let's hop back in the uh in the go-kart here i gotta show you this other one this one's called the redeemer now you remember that there is a first person module in star citizen yeah yeah so the redeemer this is a gunship that was actually designed by Star Citizen backers. So on the top of the ship, there's actually a manned turret that you're gonna be able to have a separate crew member control. On the bottom of it, there's another great big manned turret, plus the chin-mounted guns that the pilot controls. But if you come around to the back of the ship, I think the release hatch, step back. Sorry. I don't want you to get hit. All right, my bad. Check this out. What? 
All right, so the Gladius and the Omega was like a single man snub fighter. Not so much here. This thing's got room for six fully armored troopers. <laughs> so it's got a crew of like four or five, plus another six troopers in the back, where you can land in the game once, you know, they make that part of the game and let the troopers out to go fight a little ground mission in the first person module. Uh, that sounds awesome. <laughs> How do you how do you get this? You just you can purchase it straight up, or is it not available now? Well, it's an additional ship, right? There's still that nominal fee, right, uh-huh. the, to get the game itself, and then this one's another two hundred and sixty five dollars. Uh, American money. American money. But you see that one over there, Dave? I do. That's that's the real gem. Uh oh. That that's one of the reasons can, that I wanted to bring you in here can today. We go over and see that. Let's do that. Oh, this is called. The Constellation Phoenix. This is the luxury edition of the Constellation ship. Um, And this is another one that you just can't buy right now on eBay. Just this ship is going for about 350 bucks. (laughs) It's not just the ship, though. It comes with its own attached fighter that bolts onto the back. Oh, it ships. Plural. Yeah, it, multiple ships. And there's also a, a ground transport rover that it comes with. Mm. But look at the bridge, it's Dave. Pretty. It's very pretty. So check this out. Have a seat, Have Fred. A, okay, sure. Why not? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, it is the Cadillac. <laughs> but look at, the, look at the view that you get right out over the bridge here. Your feet are just dangling over space once this thing goes live. It's going to allow multiple crew members. You're going to have two other co-pilots sitting left and right, running all the avionics and additional weapon system. And this one's pretty complicated. It's got almost 40 anti-ship missiles that are on these little gullwing doors that spring open when, uh-huh. when you're attacked. And then it's got some kind of automated point defense turret. Oh. Maybe that's what this is, but check this out. There's like a whole separate spot for your gunner to sit. There you go. And he just gets pulled right up above the bridge with this beautiful panoramic view out over the front and back of the ship. There you go. Well, that's what you want to be to shoot everybody. Totally. But isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. That's very pretty. And so I've got the track IR going here, so I'm actually just looking around. We'll hit a button here and zip it back down, pull these doors down and locked. But I mean, it's it's not a luxury ship unless we get a little luxury. So let's go let's go take a look at the back of this thing. Sounds like a good idea. Remember, we said it had a, a crew of four. So here's where that crew is going to sleep. Four little bunks for them. Sure, why not? Go ahead and pop this hatch here. Can I mix you a cocktail, uh, David? Huh? Huh? Oh, back in the in the bar. Full uh, wet bar on the spaceship. Huh. Dry bar over there, little towel dispenser. You've got your. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. You've got your little boardroom area yeah. for your meetings. Yeah. Separate airlocks, starboard and port. Big screen TV, seating for four. Well, of course. How about a little jacuzzi action, David? <laughs> well, of course. I mean, the, if you insist. The master bed. Huh, for Captain. For Captain and Miss, perhaps. But back here, do you, do you think this might be a dressing room? I would think. No, it's not. This is your fully shielded from prying eyes and scanning rays cargo compartment. Of course it is. Because I imagine you're not going to want to travel with all of your luxury goods out in the open. Now, are no, you? No. No, people want this ship, Charlie, I feel like. People who don't want to pay for it. Can't have it. No. Can't even buy it from Chris Roberts right now. Mm-mm. Only like $400 on eBay gets you one of these babies. Okay. Uh, let me, I'll just start uh, saving. Check uh, check when the payday is. Get up on that. This, this particular backer actually has so many ships that he can't fit all of them in the hangar at one time. This was one 
that I really wanted to take a look at, though. Do you remember that one Star Citizen commercial where it's like the Ford F-150 of Starship? Uh -huh. It's like the working man's Starship, and he cuts his hand, and he has his cup of coffee, and blows two raiders out of the sky yep. with these massive pulsar beams. That's the one, yeah. Well, this is the military version of that one. Oh. This is the Freelancer MIS. Just the base Freelancer is 110 bucks. This is another $90 upgrade mm -hmm. that you can really only get on eBay right now. Okay. Bridge seats four. Minimum crew is three. Just to fly the thing. Just to fly the thing. I imagine you can fly it with one, but if you want to bring your friends along, you know, you can have a, a crew of three. Gotcha. Pilot, co-pilot, gunner. Uh, the detail is astounding. What I love is that each of the little avionics packages, the the yoke and the stick, they're all a little different in every plane. There's nothing really duplicated. Every single one is unique. And then you've got your beds and berths for the crew, some secondary seating here for the radio guys and the navigators. There you go. All of it interactive. And theoretically, once the game ships, you'll be able to move about the ship in space and, and move back to these rear stations while you're, you know, moving from port to port. That is a, a space baby changing uh, station, I believe. <laughs> All right. Well, we should probably get out of here. Did you? Did you still have that crowbar? Oh, yeah, the one I'm I'm holding up like a baseball bat right behind you. 